Hi there, Ian again, and today we're going to look at pH. First thing I'm going to do is put some pH reagent drops, this is what we use to test the, the pH of water, into two glasses. There's four in there, two, three, four in there, and as you can see the water in the glass is quite acidic as we've started. Now, I'm going to pour in some water with my trusty system here from the Ultra Stream. There we go. enough to get an idea of what it should look like and some water from the SD502. It's set at pH 8.5 this is the normal sort of setting that we would expect and as you can see it takes a while to uh, get the water out but here it comes. We'll take it up to about the same level. Okay now I'm going to give it a bit of stir to make, make sure it's not you know, particularly different. You can probably hear the water coming out of the canyon there. That's our bucket down below to collect the acid water. Now, on my little guide here, I would say that we're looking about pH 9 to 9.5 from either unit. So what's the big difference? This one, $500. This one, $4,000 not a tough decision.